Hello, my name is Jeff Bowen, Customer Service Engineer for Premier One and Premier One A Model Series. Thanks for joining our presentation of the avionic components and locations in the nose bay, rear bay, and tail cone areas on the Premier One. We will start at the nose and work aft to the tail. The nose erosion boot is a very important component of the radome and protects the radome from moisture ingression. There are lightning diverter strips that run down the length of the radome. The integrity of these is also for wicking off the static charge that can build on the nose surface. These strips are grounded to the aircraft at the screws that hold the radome to the fuselage. Further down the nose you will see various components starting with the right hand pitot-static probe, right hand angle of attack sensor. This is the right ice detector for the horizontal tail DI system. This is the RAT probe or dual element ram air temperature probe for the number one and number two air data computers. This is the right forward avionics bay. Starting across the top from left to right are the dual GPS 4000 receivers. There is a bit test available on each unit. The LED lights indicate status in case of failure. Red LED indicates a failure of the antenna system or an internal fault in the GPS receiver. Standby battery for the standby bus and components. This is the number one AHARS or AHC 3000. The number two AHARS is forward and mounted on a different axis. The AHC 3000 mounting rack is shimmed level and the calibration is stored in the ECU on the aft side of the mounting rack. The number one DME or DME 442. These are the audio components with the number one or DB 438 pilot's audio amplifier unit. The number two DB 438 co-pilot's audio amplifier. The DB 240 passenger speaker amplifier and the DB 630 oral warning tone generator. These two units are the VIR 432 VHF nav receivers. The next stacks are the TDR 94D or diversity transponders. Above the transponders are the mode S strapping plugs. We have the two VHF 422C communication units. The larger unit is the Integrated Avionics Processor System, or IAPS, for the ProLine 21 system. The IAPS houses many component cards for diagnostics, flight management, flight guidance, configuration, and interface to various systems in the aircraft. In the lower area of the bay are both the Mark V Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System computer and the DME 442. Forward, we see the number two AHARS unit. The AHC 3000 also has LEDs to indicate status. Red LED is a failed unit. Forward of the AHC 3000 is the number two ADC 3000 air data computer. The number one ADC is on the other side of the nose. These units also have an LED to indicate status. This is the AHARS compensation mode select for setting the level on both AHARS systems. This must be reset when a flux gate or ECU or mount is disturbed or changed. Moving to the rear bay, we see the TTR 4000 Traffic Collision Avoidance System or TCAS computer. The TTR 4000 has bit test capability with LED indication of status. Next is the ALT 4000 radio altimeter system receiver transmitter. Then we have a single ADF 462 ADF receiver. Some aircraft have two ADFs in this position stacked here as an option. Moving to the tail cone area, we have the SVO 3000 rudder servo an SMT-65 servo mount and capstan. This is the FA-2100 cockpit voice recorder or CVR. 
The ULB, or underwater locator beacon, is mounted to the CBR. Mounted underneath is the impact switch that disrupts power to the CBR at 2.5 Gs. This button resets the impact switch in the event it is tripped. This is the de-ice control unit for the horizontal tail de-ice system. This component is the pitch trim controller for the manual, autopilot, and standby pitch trim control systems. Up on the tail behind the caution panels, we have the load storage units for the horizontal tail DI system. Inside the vertical aft tip fairing are mounted both FDU 3000 flux detector units for the AHAR system. Thanks for joining us for the Premier One Avionics Component Location video. If you have any questions, please contact the Hawker 400 XP BeachJet and Premier Technical Support Group at 1-800-429-5372 or email BeachJet underscore 400XP underscore Premier One underscore support at txtav.com.